Today, we're gonna talk about a great friend of mine. And he's a great friend of yours. Choosing a proper goal is a catch-22. In my last video, I mentioned how having a proper goal means that goal has to feel impossible. There's a lot of unknown to that. And therein lies the problem. When we go to choose a goal, our brain is gonna keep us safe. It's gonna wanna know what's gonna happen if you choose to do something. And from my book, that's not a proper goal. The proper goal is something that feels unattainable, but maybe more important that something that you know you can't do, that unknown. Maybe take it a step further. If we use that word unknown, we don't know what's gonna happen. Will we finish that race? Can we run that long? Will I be able to make it under a cutoff? Will I come in last? Will I win? Will I place in my age group? All those are the, the thought process that our brain goes through when we go to choose a goal. And that unknown is always gonna be there until you finish the race. No amount of talk inside your head, conversations with yourself is gonna be able to erase that unknown. And again, therein lies the problem because we as humans, our brain wants to keep us safe and it's gonna to want to know what's gonna happen. And that keeps us safe. That keeps us from striving towards and choosing a big goal, the cool impossible goal that we don't think we can do. So I'm gonna challenge you today to try something to help you with that, that catch 22, this problem with goal setting. So we often hear, focus on what you can control, not on what you can't control. You can't control the unknown. It's always gonna be there. It's necessary for the process. What we can control is what we do about the process. And that process, the number one starter to the process is choosing that goal, that unknown. When an athlete contacts me for coaching, the first thing we discuss, what is your goal? That's the first priority. The training will take care of itself, but until we have that goal, we don't have a purpose. So first, we need to realize that our brain will always try to keep us safe. It will want to know. It will play tricks on our mind when we're picking a goal. We've got to just be aware of that, expect it, smile and say, this means it's a proper goal. So how do we pick a big goal? First, back to my friend and your friend. All right, my friend, your friend, Christopher McDougal, runner, author of Born to Run, author of Natural Born Heroes, author of Running with Sherman. He's a good friend of mine. We go way back to the Born to Run days. And let me tell you a story about Christopher. We're talking about goals. Here's a guy who came to me 
and wanted to do this crazy 50 mile race down in the depths of the Copper Canyon. He was a broken down runner. Every time he tried to run, he'd get injured. Saw many doctors, they all told him he shouldn't be running and he kept persevering. And we devised a plan for this 50 mile race in Copper Canyon, which became Born to Run. Getting back to our goals. Here's a guy who really did not believe he could finish that race when we first started, but he chose to do it. What he did know was that if he did finish the race, he would come in last because he knew he was the slowest runner there. So the unknown was he knew or he didn't think he could finish. That was the unknown. If he started to train, could he be injury free? Could he even do the training to be able to go and complete the race, to do the race, to attempt the race? All these unknowns, he still persevered and went through with it. And here's a guy who did come in last, but he finished. Here's a guy who knew he was gonna come in last and still went and towed the line and started and finished and came in last. Yes, he came in last, but he also inspired millions and millions of people. He gave hundreds of thousands of people hope that they too could run, that they too could be injury free, that they maybe were just like him. And if he did it, they could too. So embracing this unknown, Christopher not only changed his life, but he changed many, many hundreds of thousands of people's lives and they are now running because of that story of Chris's unknown, of Chris's cool impossible of finishing that 50 mile race. So how cool is it? Here's someone that came in last, inspired the world with his running. Would you tow a line if you knew you were gonna come in last? That's how a goal should feel. So here's what you do. I want you to take the next few days and start thinking about three running achievements that you know you can achieve. And I just want you to think of those three achievements. Notice how they make you feel. Notice how it make, makes you feel to think about maybe doing those knowing that you can't this scared feeling, start to notice that that's how a proper goal should feel like. Notice that feeling, embrace that feeling. And as you take the next few days to think about what this feels like, start to think about what one really, really excites you. And then notice what that excitement feels like to say, wow, instead of maybe thinking whether I can or can't, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna start working day to day to achieve that goal. And I'm not gonna worry whether it's possible or not because we're never gonna know. We're never gonna know until you come in last or you come in first or anywhere in between, it's all the same. So start to be aware of this scared feeling that's necessary for a proper goal. And this is why being fearless is a bunch of junk. We need fear. We need to be scared. Being fearful is necessary. So don't be fearless, be limitless, and demand the impossible.